the wreckage of the Titanic has a different configuration of windows. All right, all right. We're under the assumption that everyone is back now. <laughs> Good we, we, we lost everyone. We had this big digital blow up in Manhattan, right? Here in New York. I think it, it happened, it affected us here first, and then everyone was knocked off. It was just a big, fat, furry, friggin' mess. But I think everyone's on. If you're not on, you don't hear it, so it doesn't matter. Right, exactly. Right. Anyway, with that said, uh, for the few remaining people we do have listening, hi, we love you. <laughs> you're, our, you're our favorites. <laughs> but let me tell you what was happening on our end. When we realized we were off and there's really nothing we could do, we were kind of swimming with, with without life jackets, right? Mm -hmm. I immediately ran to the refrigerator and the microwave and heated up fried rice. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Wow. Can I tell you? I mean, you're, yeah, tell you're me. not the only one who did that because I was just in the kitchen also heating up food when I ran into other people in this building who also had issues and they were getting dessert because they were so stressed. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens. Yesterday I had something stressful happen and I texted Sam and said, I need a cheeseburger. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I went oh to God, the vending machine way. and got M&M's chips, chips Deluxe cookies. Nice. These are delicious. Look at that. <laughs> they make everything See, better. This, this is like, you know, you get to prepare for a hurricane. There is no preparation for an all meltdown with the uh, with the internet and all digital things. What are you holding up to the camera, Gandhi? What is that? I capitalized on the other people getting stressed out and finding their dessert because they gave me a piece of it. It's chocolate chip cookie with cheesecake in the middle. Where the hell did that oh. come from? Oh my from? God. From? I, I told them I wouldn't tell them who gave it to me. Oh, uh, come on. Oh, bring God. some over, please. <laughs> they only had a tiny little box of it. Don't be a snitch. Don't be a snitch. You're doing the right thing, Gandhi. I'm not. You can have half of mine, Daniel. Okay, thank you. I know, but what an interesting... <laughs> You know, it's really funny when things, when the fertilizer, when the fertilizer hits the ventilator, as they say, mm. when the crap hits the fan, no. you see what people are all about and what they're capable of doing. We sat here and just started eating and laughing. <laughs> <Absolutely>. <laughs> wow. That's it. That's what we do. I know, but then the enormity of what's going on here on our show kind of slapped me upside the head. I mean, we have look, our show is the reason why thousands of people are employed to keep us on the air, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Why is everyone whispering? What's going on? Because we're all sharing this brownie that she just brought. I had a little piece. I gave Danielle half, and Nate wants some of it, too, yeah. so I was going to give it's him It's like the Hunger <laughs> Games. <laughs> okay, well, I'm trying to make a point, yeah. and, like, Nate, the senior executive producer is too busy trying to get a brownie. He's, he's, he's chewing now. He's chewing. Mm, so good. I was making a point. May I make my point? Yes. Yes. You go ahead and chew while I make my point, you little dirtbag. My point is, we come in here every day and act like a bunch of fools, like playing around on a playground, then we go home. In fact, thousands of people are employed because of all the crap we do here every day. Mm -hmm. And we just found out. When, we, when we're when we cut off across the country and around the world, all our digital stuff goes wacky. Yep. A satellite falls out of the sky. I don't know what happened. Whatever. We're like, oh, let's have some fried rice Food. or brownie. <laughs> If <laughs> people's lives are depending on what we do every day, we're like, oh, well, I'm going to go take a poo. I've got time. God. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah Nate, what? Well, if this was a ship, right, the, the engineers in the in the engineering room would be the ones trying to make the ship go again. We're just like the the, the people, uh, you we're know. We're the people who do the, we do the floor shows. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, why, why would we be down in the engineering spaces trying to get the boilers relayed? You know, it's just like, exactly. we, we wouldn't be doing that. We're the performers for Jersey Boys. <laughs> so what do we, we have nothing to do with that. I know, but you know the thing is, is we are directly connected to people through text, and they're all saying, you're not on. We, we can't hear you. So it affects us, and we're like, oh, great. And guess what? If you work in engineering, your ratings don't plummet when you're off the air. Ours do. Everyone, there are a lot of people who left and went somewhere else. Yeah. We lost yeah. them. Mm -hmm. We lost Man. them. You know, I, I recently read that on the Titanic, no engineers made it off the ship. They all stayed on and made sure the lights stayed on as long as possible so Aww. that everybody else could get off. Oh, wow. You know yeah. who else? You, you know <laughs> who, see how that works here. You know who else died, by the way, right? That string quartet, they were playing, and they were trying to keep everybody entertained. Exactly. they just died. That's right. They went down with the that ship, as us. they call it. Is that real, they or were, was that just for the movie? <laughs> we need real. to believe it's real. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the, yeah, the uh, orchestra that was playing going down with the ship, that's the Elvis Duran morning yeah, show of the awesome. Titanic. <laughs> Speaking of, have you seen this new video that has over 11, maybe 12 million views? I believe it's on the TikTok. This woman has claimed through her research that it's all a lie. The Titanic never sunk with the story that we were told. Oh, Lord. Have you seen this? Wow. It's a huge story today. Really? What's her version she, of it? 
her version is there were three ships owned by the White Line or whatever. I forgot, I forgot the White Rose, whatever company owned the Titanic. White they also Star owned, Line. They also owned the Britannic and the Olympia, Olympian or something like that. Okay. She's saying that the Titanic, Titanic was just sunk, that no one was, that it was just a big scam for the White Star Line to get their money back through, through um, insurance. A big oh, con- conspiracy. Really? Interesting. Wow. So all the survivors well, look, and people who talked oh, about it. Oh, I just looked it up, yeah. Okay, look on the Today page. Hmm. Garrett put some sound in. What do you see, Scary? Uh, it I should say con- something about... I, I have the conspiracy theory sound. I love this. Okay, she says she has studied the Titanic for, Titanic for years. The wreckage of the Titanic has a different configuration of windows on the bottom of the ocean. It's not the Titanic. All right, here's what it says. Go. The Olympic and the Titanic, they look identical. The Olympic was on the water for a while. Like, she was reaching retirement, and they knew that. And they were like, well, it was a lot of money to make the Titanic, and it's going to be even more money to repair the Olympics. So what if we just sent the Olympic out instead, sank that, claimed some insurance money, and then just scrapped the Titanic like it was the Olympic for some spare parts? Okay, so... Then what about the passengers that, are, that right. we said were lost? Well, right. J.P. Morgan, the guy that run, well, J, used to run Chase, I believe. I don't mm-hmm. know. Uh, he knew. He was told the Titanic was going to go down, so he got off board. And other people got off board, too. Oh. <laughs> it's a big conspiracy. Okay. And, the, and, the, and the woman who just gave it to us, sound, she has a little vocal fry, so yeah, I'm not quite sure. You know? mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Man, I, I'm going to dive into this now. I'm excited mm. to find out what's going and on. And the Nina Pinta and Santa Maria were all there, too. <laughs> they all went down. Yep. Well, you oh, know, those they never made it over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I think, okay, we're kind of vamping to make sure we're all back. Are we all back? <laughs> yeah. I just saw an engineer mosey on by. Should we go grab him? But he was moseying. He was moseying. So, it was, was so moseying. It's good probably move. a good thing. He, he was carrying a Cinnabon. <laughs> 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 eating it. <laughs> <laughs> 